Hi guys, it's Real Phoenix here. Now, of course, you watched my episode, the very first episode of G's Shoes, right? You'll know that I'm going to cover all of the routes at the same time. So that way we're going to have like multiple episodes like of the numbers, like number 9. But they're going to be like for the different ones. You'll actually show you on the episode's title who it is and include in the image will show you who it is. And they're going to all be in one playlist. If that confuses people, just let me know and I'll just move them. Anyway, we're going to go for G Woo! I didn't realize I could become this evil until today. By the way, this is absolutely not animal cruelty, I assure you. It's an expression of affection, probably. Honestly, I don't know why I want to bother Jibu every time I see him. Ever since I saw those cute balls, I don't want to leave him alone. The image of Jibu wriggling to be free from my hands is irresistibly adorable. Hey, just like with Sidra, Jibu freed himself from my hands and started to hop away. What? Where are you going? I ran out of Jiru into my room. <laughs> you know it, I know. Stay there. I didn't expect myself to become this wicked, but I can't help it. It's so fun. As I gave it subdued, it subdued a laugh, Jiru recoiled. I won't do anything bad, I promise. I let you go after I touch your paws. I stretched my hands towards Jiru. Huh? As I stretched my hands forward, Jiru used them as a foothold to hop onto the bed. Huh? <laughs> I can't believe the rabbit used my hands to jump. I pulled myself back together and turned my head towards Jiwu. Oh, oh, what? Suddenly, the blanket on the bed flapped, covering my view. How can the blanket move by itself? D don't come near me. Wh who's making that sound? Thought by an unfamiliar voice, I quickly lifted the blanket. <laughs> it's me. <gasps> a boy who I've never seen before was on my bed. Hoo -hoo. Who are you? I screamed at Jock. What the is he? Where'd he come from? Where's he woo? A boy who was looking about 18 was covering his head with his hands. Blonde hair and rabbit ears. And what's up with that outfit? Expensive looking brooch in the cape. Huh? What? The boy panicked and checked his hands and feet. Huh, I changed. Korean? Uh, hello? The boy looked up when I called him. I've changed, you dumb owner. The boy ignored me. Who stood there, stunned, and stood up and brushed him this little dust off, dust off his clothes. Dumb owner? Who's he calling dumb? And what does he mean, owner? What do you mean? Who in the world? Are you blind? Can't you see that I changed from a rabbit to human? Before I could even finish my sentence, the boy spoke in a condescending attitude. What? A rabbit turned into a human? It can't be. That's preposterous. Shut up, I'm tired from my sudden change right now. The ears on his head, they're, they're moving. The ears are alive? And those ears are Jiru's really ears, for sure. This is absurd. Did you really change into a human? Did you just figure that out, stupid? And again, we call me stupid. I looked around the room. I, wrote, I looked around the floor to look for Jibu, who was hopping around just a minute ago, but he was nowhere to be found. And the boy has the same spotted ears as Jibu. Jibu transformed into a boy. You, you, you. You're really stupid, aren't you? How come you can't speak properly when you have a mouth? And you call yourself my owner. This just shows the quality of the pet care you. That's careful. You better thank me for living in this small house with you for a few months. And the boy who argued that he was Jibu glared at me. If you try to touch my paws one more time, I will bite your finger hard. The boy arrogantly turned around and left the room. Does he expect me to believe him? Believe that a rabbit turned into a human? The boy and Jiwoo had an awful lot of similarities. His hair colour, the gentle moving rabbit ears. No way. There's no way that this is happening. This, this is impossible. I followed the boy up to the living room and then I froze. Then everybody just... Turn into humans?
This is too real to be a dream, but it's too much of a dream to be real. I didn't have to touch the five pairs of ears to know they are real. Completely discombobulated, I just froze. How? How? I'm in a muddle here. No words are coming out of my mouth. How can this be? Their unique clothes and exotic looks are certainly not all this world. Look. He tends absolutely flustered. What? He knows my name. Orange hair, mischievous smile, pointed cat ears. Is he Juni? He only looks about 18 or so. Maybe it's because of his orange hair, but he seems a little bit like a juvenile delinquent. Adieu. The boy with the white hair mumbled something in a quiet voice and ran towards the tall man. The man, the tall man with the silver hair, held the boy up like they were used to it. Genie and Jihei? So they were both males after all. Are you serious? She didn't know the one was a boy? That they both were boys? The white haired boy, who I assume to be Genie, is very poised. You seem shocked. The long silver hair and clear blue eyes, he must be Jihei. Seeing his rabbit ears on his head makes me feel like I'm dreaming. But he's like a moving porcelain doll. He's, he's majestic. Hmm, dumb wizard. The man who last night claimed to be Jishu grumbled. His pointy ears were twitching a little. Eddie, the cat is said damned. Please be prudent not to become like him. Okay. Jihei spoke in a small voice, but it was loud enough for Jishu to hear. Tension arose between Jihei and Jishu. I can hear you. They all looked like friends when they were animals. Maybe they weren't that close. Hey, at least we were all quiet when they were animals. A boy with speckled, spotted rabbit ears, just like the one Jishu has, spoke. Cats, rabbits, they're all too noisy. You're a rabbit too. I'm different from the other rabbits. Can't you see my brown coat? They're just spots. You're just another rabbit after all. I don't want to talk to a carrot top like you. Didn't quarrel it? This made my head turn in circles. This is... All this is happening so suddenly. I have no clue what to, I should do. I have five guys in my living room. Hey, stop fighting. Can't you see you're making the food giver uncomfortable? But food giver? Is that really my name? Are you really going to be calling me food giver? You haven't learned my name by now. Wait, hang on. Juni said my name just five minutes ago. Why aren't you calling me that? Good lord! A person who gives food, does he mean me? He must be me. It's a bit rude. Technically it's correct, but it sounds a little weird. The rabbit and the cat stopped calling and turned to look at me. I felt disconcerted with everybody eyeing me. Uh, did everyone change like this? Yeah, the spell is broken! Everything they're saying is just too hard to believe. So are you going to stay like this from now on? Even if there is such a thing as a spell, and even if these guys are aliens from another planet, though I highly doubt it, I can't have five guys living in my house. Living together would fight. What would people think? What would the neighbours say? When they find out? That can't happen. You're not happy we changed that? Genius ears dropped. Aww. His eyes started cheering up. No, but the house is too small for six people and plus. Plus? And. What? What is it? What would other people think if they found out? Jibby Cash is saying that things like. Gee, whoa! Good lord, you don't need to swear! Please, man. Good lord, where did you learn this language? He said it not me, it's like all they beeped it out, but I can assume I know what he said. Give it cash, he's saying that things like beep and the beep might happen if we live together. I'm not going to say what he's supposed to say, because I know what he's supposed to say there. Oh my god. Gee, whoa! 
What? What did he just say? I'm going to need to wash his mouth for the bar of soap. Did I hear him right? I can't hear my shock. Eddie, what? No, don't copy him, sweetie. Just don't. Do not copy G Woo. It's bad. Don't. Don't. Eddie, what does I mean? Well, that's no. Wait. Oh, no, I'm not having you both doing it. No, not the rabbits, too. Hey, you don't have to worry about things like. Jeez, <gasps> show no. Everybody stop saying the word. My face became so red that it was ready to explode. You're not my type at all, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jisoo. Thank you so much. That makes me feel so much better. That's not what I was talking about. It's unbelievable how you make such a rude remark so casually. It's okay. It's not to say that you're plain looking. Uh, I mean, anyway, trust us. That is just so rude. I feel really assaulted with that comment from you, do you, you, do you need? If you worry about having all this in this tiny house, no one's forcing you. We're gonna stay as animals as long as nothing goes wrong. Tiny house? But it's pretty big for one person. My lady? Lady? Me? The man who I assume to be GA. Lowered his eyes. We'll do our best at not to inconvenience you in any way. Does that mean they're going to live... They're going to keep living in my house? Wait, so you guys are animals or man? Men. Well, we're actually, um, how can I explain this? Bunny? Don't ask me, stupid! <sighs> we can turn ourselves into animals or humans, whichever we want. Wait, I cut you sure. Where in the world are you from? Are you even from this planet? This is a drastic problem. The situation doesn't make any sense, but... Calm down, take a deep breath. But no matter how much I try to calm myself down, people are not supposed to turn themselves into animals. No, we're from, uh, far away. Far away, where is that? Don't tell me. Well, how can I, how could, how can I explain? I mean, suddenly became quiet. Don't tell me. It's as if no one was to tell. It's as if I'd asked something I shouldn't have asked. They all looked at each other, hesitant, hesitating to talk. Oh, don't. We can't tell you. Those are the rules. Oh, for God's sake. I hear that from Jibu as well. Rules? What rules? Whose rules? Rules? What are you talking about? We, we can't tell you either. Why? Because those are the rules. <laughs> oh, God, why? Great. This is really frustrating. I have no idea who these guys are and where they're from. They won't tell me a thing. I have no idea what to do. Uh, I was living such an ordinary life. Why did you say... Why did such a thing happen to me? Why me of all people? What did I do? Hey, you don't like us? No, it's not that. Excuse me, I took care of you all this time, Jiwoo. Even if you were being really awkward to me. But how can I so casually accept that my pet have turned into humans? Hey, food giver. You look so cute like that. I'm sorry, I had to bring this out. Doesn't he look so adorable like that? She should look at me with a concerned expression. He's just so adorable. I like his face. He's, he's like feeling really sorry right now. I like the fact they've all got purple on them. Oh, but you're so darling. Why did you guys send me up here? Who left you in my room? I'm sorry, but we can't tell you that. Why? The rules. Oh, for God's sake, that answer again. Why me? Yes. Why is me of all people? That's because... She so hesitated. I looked straight at him, waiting for an answer. Tell me, why did this happen to me? You were chosen. Chosen? Chosen by goddamn who? Do that weird voice I don't know about. What do you mean? Who chose me? Jisoo avoided my eyes. You can't tell me that either. Jisoo nodded slowly. Don't get mad, please. I'm not mad, I'm furious. I'm frustrated by the fact that they won't tell me anything. This whole situation is just too overwhelming. And it's not like I can talk to someone about this. Who's gonna goddamn believe me about my pets turning into like goddamn humans with cat ears and you know rabbit ears? I might come to terms with it, provided they tell me everything, but they're all keeping their mouths shut like they have a secret pact among them. You're not gonna throw us out, right? 
Giovanni looked at me with his big sad puppy eyes regardless of the fact he's a cat. The right thing to do would be to kick these guys out and go back to life as it was before. I volunteered to take care of five small and helpless animals, not five guys. Though it may seem a bit harsh, I have no choice but to ask them to leave. Otherwise, I would never be able to return to my normal, boring life. Yes, I should go back to how things were before, as if nothing ever happened. How things were before. I won't have to waste time anymore, and so I'll be able to spend more time for myself. I can go back to my busy everyday life, but... Is that really the life I want? I remember how joyful my last three months in the company of the animals have been. Although I was busy and tired from school and after school, school, coming home to them relieved me of my exhaustion. I enjoyed thinking about what activities I do with the animals during the weekends, also mentioned how cute they were. And even if the house got a little messy, even if taking care of them took away a lot of my time, I enjoyed having them. With them, I laughed a lot. The animals, the boring day-to-day -day life became fun. The animals that greeted me whenever I came home are those are these people. The are they are those animals. Mm, actually, I don't want to go back to how things were before. Hats, huh? You should all wear hats or hoodies to hide your ears whenever you go out, and don't make loud noises at home. And during evenings and when there's nothing special going on, you should save the animals. We can't have the neighbors suspecting something. And you're prohibited from coming into my room during the bedtime. Forget okay, right, you don't even have to worry about that. That annoying cat. You may stay here as long as you follow the, these rules. Thank you. Don't worry, we won't cause you any harm. I, I meant trouble, I'm more concerned about trouble. Oh, thank you! Cool thing, but what's a hoodie? You seriously don't know what a hoodie is, Jiwoo. Oh, he looks so adorable now. I don't know. Just say thanks, Bunny. Don't call me Bunny! Young master? Yes, thank you. I guess this is how things will be before I can come up with a good solution. I must have turned into human. No one would believe this. Not even myself. Again. Oh my god, what drama! I think we're gonna end the episode here and 